Well, we're here today at the Miami Boat Show. We're here to talk to you about Torquedo. This is called the Deep Blue 80. It's an outboard and it's electric. Between 50 and 80 HP and it weighs only 240 pounds. So let's check it out. Now we're finally out on the water with the brand new Phoenix. It's an electric boat. It's built by the Canadian Electric Boat Company and what a performer. She has a full speed of 32 miles per hour and that for an electric boat is a lot. It weighs 4,400 pounds. It has an overall length of 29 feet and a beam of eight feet, six inches. And the draft is only 21. Now the power for this electric boat is supplied by Torquedo. They're two motors, they're called Deep Blue 80. 80 stands for the HP, but they're actually 50 kilowatt electric motors. For batteries, we got BMW. They're i3s and there's two of them, which have 80 kilowatts of power. Eight hours to be charged and lots of lots of power. The batteries can last for one hour at top speed. At cruise, around 20 miles per hour, between two to three hours. And if you're doing six to eight miles per hour, well, that'll last you a full day. So let's put those handles down and see how she reacts. Wow, talk on an electric motor is instant. And special on this one with two of them. Now this boat has comfortable seating for up to 10 people. Being electric, she's very quiet. We have a joystick drive system, or also you can have levers. There's plenty of space on the dash to add an extra screen, maybe for a GPS or a fish finder. Now what makes this boat so incredible is its stability. And that's made because of the batteries that are the most heaviest part on this boat are sitting right in midship, as low as possible to the bottom of the hull. Now let's just give it a turn. We put the handles right down and we're gonna see if we can reach our top speed. Here we go, we reached our top speed. 32, 33, 32. Wonderful, fantastic. Very nifty little boat. The Canadian Electric Boat Company have been building boats for the past 25 years. With the advancements in technology, hydrodynamics, weight distribution, and the new advancement on electric motors, these electric boats are going well. So maybe, who knows, this could be the future. Until next time, see ya.